couple of weeks ago, the Word Nerds did our live chat about the graphic novel Nimona, and a little bit in there we talked about all of the other graphic novels we'd loved and ones we wanted to try, and basically since then comics have been my life. Happy Tuesday and welcome back to Reader's Nook where we talk about all of the books we've been reading and loving and the things we'd want to read and things we think you guys should read. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the world of comics and graphic novels. I've been in a reading slump on and off since basically April. I haven't read that many books and I really want to get caught up on my Goodreads challenge and just take in more stories and not miss out on all the things I want to read because we only have so much time. So I've randomly decided to fall into the world of comics. I picked up the Comixology app and got a one-week trial for that through my Amazon subscription, which basically gives me unlimited reading of all of the comic books and graphic novels offered through their subscription service. I suspect I'm going to pick it up for at least another month after that because I have so many that I want to read. And yeah, so let's talk a little bit about comic books. Comic books and graphic novels have been something I've been interested in on and off for years. I have a few series that I follow and love, mainly Saga and Rat Queens, which are both amazing and highly recommended, but I do think I've talked about them before. I have always wanted to get a little bit more into the superhero side of things, but these have been going on for decades and decades, and I know I will never read all of them, so it's kind of stopped me from trying at all. So in getting my Comixology subscription, I have been kind of poking through what they have to offer on my iPad and getting the first issue of a bunch of different series that I think might be a good fit for me. So I've got Miss Marvel, which is one I've heard really great things about in the Marvel Universe. I also got Captain Marvel, really anything with an awesome female kick-ass heroine I am all about. I've only read a few of them so far, but I am really, really enjoying the unbeatable Squirrel Girl, who is just super fantastic. You can see kind of the sense of the art style there. She is a superhero who is part girl and part squirrel and all optimism. She is really funny. She's in her first year of college where she's doing computer science and is also saving the world in her spare time. And just the tone and sense of humor in these comics have been really, really enjoyable. I've also tried a couple of other ones like Bee and Puppy Cat, which is kind of a magical temp job with a weird pet kind of one, which wasn't a perfect fit for me. But that has been why the Comixology subscription has been so great for me. It's letting me try a little bit of everything, including comics that I've had my eye on for years to see which ones I actually enjoyed. Comics can be kind of an expensive hobby to get into. Graphic novels with like multiple issues of comics can run upwards of $20, which can be a lot if you're looking at getting a few of those every year in all of the different series that you're following. But your public library can be a great resource or subscription services like this one. I think Marvel also does one called Marvel Unlimited. Marvel also has one called Marvel Unlimited, which gives you access to all of their comics starting six months ago. So all of the new comics each week will be the ones that were published six months ago. So really you're not getting the most up to date, but you still have decades of comics to read from. If you are interested in reading some of the Marvel comics, I've been doing a little bit of research into what to dive into. I'm not all of that interested in all of the classic ones, so I'm going to be jumping into Astonishing X-Men, which started in 2004 and Avengers vs. X-Men, plus Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and Beatable Squirrel Girl. All of the specific heroes that I'm interested in, I did pick up the first issues of all of their runs, but I did want to get a broader sense of just kind of what's going on in the Marvel timeline. I do love the MCU movies, and I just figured it would be fun to learn a little bit more about what's going on in all of that. But basically the world of graphic novels and comics is absolutely endless in terms of what it offers. There is sci-fi, there is fantasy, there's contemporary stuff, there are mysteries, some of them are dark, a lot of them are really optimistic, which I love. There is something for everyone. It is a really enjoyable reading experience. Plus, as someone who's trying to learn to draw, I'm loving all of the art that goes along with all of these stories and characters. There's just so much here, and as you can probably tell so far, I'm completely in love with just exploring and discovering what the world of comics has to offer. If you're a comic or graphic novel reader, I'd love to hear from all of you on any recommendations. I have read a few different series before. I'm not a big fan of The Wicked and the Divine, which is one I hear recommended pretty often, but other than that, the world is my oyster. I'd love to hear what you guys love. And of course, don't forget to join us on Sunday for our next live chat. It's going to be at 7.30 Eastern time as usual. And for now, happy reading, happy writing, and I'll see you next time.